Here we have it, the worst film of the year so far. So Colette is a new film starring Kira Knightley as Gabriel Colette, who is a young author working under her husband and her husband's brand in order to produce his books and his novels. However, after they achieve quite a lot of success and become a bit of a cultural phenomenon, she wants to be able to put her own name onto the stories to prove that she is her own person and is her own writer in her own right. Yeah, so as you would have saw at the start of the video, I am not too positive on this film. First off, I have to talk about Kira Knightley in this movie, who I felt slept walk the entire thing. She looked so bored throughout the entire film. She had no charisma, she had no energy, she had no life behind her eyes, and that reflects on the audience, because when we're watching this, and I don't see her being excited about this film and excited about this role, then I'm not going to be excited about it. She just came across as incredibly dull, and that's a really good reflection to describe this entire film. Kind of dull. The biggest demon of this movie is easily the screenplay. It's all over the shop. It's one of the most messy screenplays I've seen in a long time, as it doesn't allow for any development for any of the characters whatsoever. The character of Colette with her husband, Willie, they have no development whatsoever. They have the same argument about six different times in this film, and it never goes anywhere. They never grow. Nothing ever happens. Nothing ever changes. It's just the same argument. She, like He will do the one thing, and then she will just forgive him and move on. And it happens like six times and it's really infuriating and I think it's just a really frustrating thing to watch because again it's just repetitive the same thing again and again and again and for a movie that's almost two hours long that really does begin to burden on the runtime. also they introduce all these other weird side characters and love interests who come into the plot and again with no explanation they just show him one scene and then all of a sudden they're like a main character with no explanation of how they met or you know what their relationship developed into like you never see it it's just one scene they're there and the next scene they're a main character in the movie and again just no development no explanation they just show up now it is hard to criticize some aspects of this movie given the fact that it is based upon a true story however i'm not criticizing the true story i'm not criticizing the real people what i am criticizing is how this movie was able to portray that true story and these real people because like i say these side characters who just pop into the movie they are real people in real life they needed to be in this movie but they don't explain it and like i say that's a bad part for the movie not exactly the actual material that they were working with so instead Take that as a criticism towards the movie and not the thing. I feel like that this movie is almost coming off as disrespectful to some elements of the real story it's trying to tell. Also, this movie is just buried in SJW uh, forced propaganda. Uh, this is obviously something that some films and TV shows these days are fully prepared to just delve into and I feel like Colette was a massive victim among all of this because this movie just has so much forced political uh, dialogue going on that you just feel bombarded by it all. If you watch the CW superhero TV series Supergirl you will know that they do a very similar thing there and it's very similar here too and I get what they were doing I understand why they did it I understand because due to the story what they were trying to tell here what they were trying to justify i understand why they did it but kind of like the cw superhero series supergirl it's so heavy-handed that it comes off as really annoying and something that does not show these women are powerful and do, does not show that they are independent in their own right it just makes them seem incredibly annoying and i think that's a massive fault on the movie's part once again not the people the movie's execution also, for a movie about writing, this has incredibly poor dialogue, and it comes off as incredibly ironic. What's even more ironic is there's an opening line in this movie about the complexity of writing and story, and I said to myself when I heard that line, I thought, this line is going to bite this movie in the ass, and it does exactly that. It just does not follow through. So that line, if when you hear it, like the opening line, you're going to be just laughing at it by the time the movie ends because it falls a victim to the exact opposite thing it's set out to do. The only redeeming quality I have in this movie is Dominic West as uh, Colette's husband, Willie. He's the only character in this movie with an inch of personality, and he was the only one who actually seemed to enjoy what he was doing. I mean, his character wasn't good, but he gave a great performance within it, and he did the best with what he was given to work with. So I give all my hats off to him because he was great in this film, but everyone else and everything else in this movie was complete shambles. Overall, Colette was disappointing. I was really looking forward to this movie to actually have a really compelling story because the story that this movie is trying to tell is very compelling in its own right but the movie's execution and the way it tells the story 
is horrific and it's really poorly handled and like i say kira knightley whether it's her performance or what she was directed to do either way it felt like she was really bored throughout this movie and so was i and therefore this film comes across as an embarrassingly failed attempt at telling this story and i really hope it gets another shot with another team and another group of actors working with it because like i say this is a great story that should be told it just shouldn't have been told like this. So did you guys see Colette? If you did, make sure you tell me all your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let's have a conversation about this movie in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, if you want to see more movie reviews from me, be sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again in my next video.